Hello Year 10s, uh, welcome to Easter. Um, what I want you to do um, over Easter, especially when you get back to school after Easter, is pay close attention to your teachers and pay close attention to the Year 11s. And just look at how they are feeling, look at how stressed they're feeling, you know, start to follow a few on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and just get the feeling of how they feel at the moment because I imagine they're feeling a bit stressed I imagine the year 11's feeling a bit um worried about freaking out about their exams because there's not a lot of time left before the exams start and what I really really want for you as year tens is to avoid that feeling this time next year so there are a few things you can do now to make sure that you don't feel like that this time next year. You will have done certain topics in school and what I want you to do is to use the specification and decide how you feel about these topics. Now for science, geography and maths you can download the specifications, student friendly versions of the specifications for free from my website and then you can just colour it in or tick off how you're feeling about those things and just identify your areas of weakness. I'm not saying you have to do too much about them at the moment, but just work out which areas you need to work on in the future, and then when we get to the future, it's going to be easier for us to work on them, because we already know what they are. Just go through and tick off which picture you're happy with, and work out which picture you're not happy with. Now this could be because you missed class, um, because there was some disruption in class, or just because you didn't understand it at the time that it was taught. It doesn't really matter why you don't understand a topic. We we don't really need to focus on why. We just need to focus on which topics you need help with. What, spending time now, spending these holidays, working out which areas you need to work on, means that when we get around to the summer holidays, we can spend some time actually fixing them, and that we've still spent this time over Easter usefully. You've probably got end of year exams coming up soon. Now these are useful exams, they are really really going to tell your teachers um, what class you should be in for year 11 and this is going to be important when we're talking about what teacher you get, what tier you're going to be entered for, whether you're going to be doing combined or separate science because I know there's going to be some changing around for that. So you probably haven't covered all the topics to do one exam paper, for example you probably haven't done everything in biology paper work but you can start to sit down and look at those papers to try some of the questions in there to work out which bits are okay and which bits aren't okay. Now if you do have mock exams coming up then you can use the resources that I made for last year, the predicted papers for last year's exams as well as one for this year's exams if you want to get a bit of extra practice in. You can spend your time making flashcards and mind maps. Things that are going to come in useful later on but things that just take up a lot of time. Flashcards for science, for maths, for languages, for geography are always always going to be useful but the year 11s probably aren't making them at the moment because they're very very stressed and very very busy. If you make them as you're going along, start now, make a load, make them as you're going along for year 11, then you will have saved yourself loads and loads of time, loads and loads of effort, and when you get to year 11, you will have a ready-made resource just waiting for you to use. Spend some time watching my whole topic videos, make some notes, make some mind maps, work out, use these in com combination with the, the revision guides to work out which areas you need to work on. So that you're kind of like revising, but you're not putting in hours and hours and hours because if you do want to be relaxed in year 11 if you don't have time in year 11 to spend time with your friends do lots of other things then you do need to start revising now I know it's a very very long way in advance I know necessarily you don't want to start revising now but it will pay off in the long term so um good luck guys look at the year 11s after um after you get back off holidays and see how stressed they are and um, yeah, let's do everything we can together to make sure you don't feel like that now next year.